Good morning from Yummy Bee TV. Wishing you all well today. Sending loads of love as usual. We get back round to Lenny McLean versus a well-known doorman who's still around today. Now, this took place in 1990-1991 in a gym in Greenwich called the Slim Jim Gym, where a lot of bodybuilders and most doormen and a few well-known cage fighters used to consistently, frequently visit regular. A couple of those cage fighters, we know that I know, and we also know, I know one of Lenny McLean's closest friends as well. So, during this time, Lenny McLean was selling bottles of aftershave at £10 a bottle. There was only one slag. We called them Terry Bogus, which means the aftershaves were imitation ones, right? So not real ones. But Lenny being Lenny, being very persuasive, many people would buy those bottles of aftershave. So on that day, hour later, hour and a half later, after the sessions had finished, someone finished their sessions, three men are in the changing room with the well-known doorman, right? And the well-known doorman is saying to these three well-known names, it's a bloody liberty how he's selling those bottles of aftershave when he knows they're a load of shit. A £10 a bottle, if he ever asked me if I wanted to buy those aftershaves, I would tell him to go and put them where the sun don't shine. I just wouldn't have it. They were all looking at him. 20 minutes later, the door opens, you know, not shortly long after this conversation takes place. Who's at the door of the changing room? Lenny McLean. Did someone pull his coat? Had the doorman been bad mouthing him before and he was thinking it hadn't got back to him? Or was it just by chance he turned up at the door and asked the question and said to the same doorman, I'll just put two of those aftershaves in your bag. You can pay me later if you want. Just give me a call uh, and whenever you're ready, pay me. So the doorman turned around and looked at him. Everyone was waiting and he said, yeah, Lenny, do you want the money now? Oh, whenever you want it, just call me and I'll, I'll buy them off you. Lenny goes, all right then, sweet. The door shut, but his face went red because he knew what he had just told all of them lot. How many times over the years have I seen that in a prison environment uh, where men talking about men when they're not there, but when actually faced with it, they melt like butter. So that's an opening story for today. More coming up in a minute. A talk plus another story. Sending loads of love to you all.